Salutations, my friends. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in the Thousand Week Reich, in which we are playing as that GGR. Um, so, like I said at the beginning of yesterday's video, this is also not where we left off, because there was a tiny, tiny patch or update for the mod, so I figured, you know what, instead of having or checking if the game would be broken or my save would be broken, I restarted the campaign again. So, regardless, it only took about a year, and as you can see on screen, well... This dude has died regardless of the focuses I chose. Now, I chose the exact same things again. Um, I could have chosen something else, but it looks like he almost always dies on March 5th or 6th, 1953. It is what it is. So even if he went down different paths, it doesn't even really matter. So he's going to die anyway. So I'm glad we did all the internal politics as well as the ruling position, which we are still trying to go with Speer in this campaign. So... I could have done this path and then done more of this and then see where we have gotten, but... It is what it is, but the guy is dead. Um, National Mourning, and we have the Senate here, which we lose so much political power and stability, it's not even funny. But we have a lot of comms to get through, including Mr. Mocha Lover. If you don't want things to pop up when you're reading other things, then how about you pause the game? Yeah, I get it, yeah, I know. I only um, have the game running in the background, just running just even slowly, just so we can speed things up just a little bit, but apparently the independent state of Croatia has capitulated to the Italian boys, and we have the unthinkable happen to us. The leader of Germany, uh, Adolf Schmittler, has passed away unexpectedly. The cause of his death is still unknown to the public, and many high-ranking officials will be at his funeral. Many wonder what will become of the Reich in the future. Only time will tell. That is very true. Uh, actually, always false. So basically, we are at the mercy of whatever happens now. And like I said yesterday, at the end of yesterday's video, we still have a very demilitarized <clears throat> area that reminds me very heavily of Burgundy and TNO. It's not quite Burgundy, just because it's the, this is quite a bit of Germany still here. The game is lagging a little bit, but we still have a lot of comments to get through as well. What is going on? What is going on? Also, something that's different. Ah, Croatia came out. The Kingdom of Croatia, I should say. Led by Tomislav II. Uh, see, we don't have no big old Israel, even though Israel is fighting the great, greater Syrian state. I almost said greater Aryan state, but not quite. Uh, we also have the West African Federation instead of the F African West formation. But regardless, Borman summoned Senate, and I will pause it from here. So, this is from the Ministry of Intelligence. An emergency meeting has been called after the death of Mr. Adolf Hitler. Officials debated on what should be immediate, the immediate course of action to bring Germany back on track after this certain disaster. Reichsleiter uh, Martin Bormann suggested the establishment of a Senate. Oh, the Senate. To secure unity within the NSDAP, handling Germany until an eternal election to decide on the next leader. The Senate would be headed by Bormann himself, though he states the position of President of the Senate is merely a ceremonial role. Hmm. After rounds of debating, the Senate has declared and was put and in, transformed into the new temporary ruling body of Germany, a petty show of party unity. So, a couple of comments. So, I was recommended, in the past few episodes, the last two, I have not clicked, I clicked on the UN button, you know. We have this, or, I don't think there's any pending resolutions. The Council Coalition has been bypassed, very good, very good. Even though there's not much we can do about this anyways. Uh, however, and we also have the GDP button over here as well. Our GDP is growing, actually a little bit, not too bad. I believe it was 169 before, but now it's better. Uh, but we have an, well, we had another button right here as well that I was going to show you that showed you like the gang of five. It was Speer, Goring, Himmler, Bowman, and and there's another guy right there. I can't remember his name. There's a gang of five: Bowman, Bowman, Goring, Speer, Himmler, and it was, I think maybe Hadrich. No, Goebbels. Goebbels. Those five, including Goebbels, they all had different levels of influence within the party and how much uh, Mr. Hitler trusted them. But obviously, as you can see, he's dead now, so it doesn't even matter. Um, er, most of them, except Goebbels and Speer, had significant influence on Hitler. Speer had a rising one, and Goebbels had insignificant amounts. But we are planning the funeral right now. To organize an unforgettable event to remember the Fuhrer, the German leadership must plan a grand funeral for the world to see. This funeral must be an event that would be remembered for thousands of years, and must be witnessed by the entire world to dignify our mighty symbol of national socialism and air and superiority. But for now, German leaders have put politics aside, working together as one to forever glorify their dearest Get this funeral done. And also, we still have no political power, and no one's in our cabinet. Emergency Council, unqualified buffoon. Cabinet crisis. Backstabber, oh. And just your average dude. So, the Wehrmacht role. The Wehrmacht had little influence on politics during Adolf Hitler's rule, but in this case, its role might be vital for Germany's future. Several leading party figures have secretly held meetings with the Wehrmacht high commands, trying to secure their support in the upcoming power struggles. However, the Wehrmacht holds the last decision. They can either side with the populist choice, Speer and Goebbels' faction, the legitimate Martin Bormann Senate, and Hitler's second-in-command Goering's cronies, or they can choose to stay neutral. What decision did the Wehrmacht take? So, stays neutral. 
the people's voice, spoils, choice, Speer and Goebbels, the ruling government regarding the leader. So, someone rec recommended I go with Speer and Goebbels in the very first episode. So I'm actually going to go with that because we want to see Speer go achieve power. We'll say. Um, that being said, uh, someone recommend or someone said that Speer is actually the case in this campaign. As Goring is like a reformist or something, I'm not really sure. That's just a comment someone left, so I have no idea. I don't play this ahead of time to know what happens, so... Uh, anything that I see or read is brand new to me. So the White Sea was evacuated. A Kriegsmarine base on the White Sea coast is under severe threat from Bolsheviks in the region. While their assets are being transferred back to Germany, the token force of the White Sea fleet soldiers and sailors are left to be in charge of a protecting... protecting... A little, a little, protection zone in an attempt to hold out against the Red Army tide for as long as possible. Good luck. Wait, wh why? Focus tree? The Arctic fleet, that looks really cool. Do you have a- You do have a unique focus- Oh! Ooh! Uh, when are we gonna play as this nation for a campaign? We are the Ubermensch. I might actually have to play this someday. And this is the Archangelis, or Erzingel Admiraltetsgebiet. The Kingdom of Sweden sends us a message. Kingdom of Sweden has refused our invitation using nonsensical reasons to deny their attendance. Instead, they have sent us an obviously heartless radio message expressing their fake grief towards the fear of tragic passing. Ah, shysa. Also, a couple of the comments that included, uh, besides me restarting the campaign, and telling another little update, uh, I asked you guys whether I should go back and, like, check out other focuses, which I basically already did. Um, like I said, nothing really changed with the focuses. The dude still dies regardless, you can't do too much. So I recommend I play as the United States of America. And right now, Adlai Stevenson is the president. So, someone recommends I play as America in, you know, this mod, TWR, as well as in TNO, which I will eventually. There's just so many mods out now, I can't keep up with them all. And also, someone also commented that the United States flag, or the uh, party ideology, it looks like the Ukraine. So, it is, looks, does look like the Ukraine. But you know what? I let one day go by, one hour go by, and we have three things right here. Well, I guess Wagan assassinated in Paris, even though I probably said that wrong, shot hurt by millions. Italy refuses our invitation. Seemingly still disgruntled about Germany's success, the Italian government has ignored our invitation and sent us a short, heartless message, which is clearly the product of a brief draft done by the lazy Italian fascists. And this is why no one likes fascists. Here at Memorial Day, um, we'll read this once. I think this happens every year. So for now, from Atlantic to the Urals, Germany stands tall in the world. Our Germany fatherland, which 17 years ago was still shackled by the terms of unjustly imposed upon him by the decadent West, today thrived in a rightful place on top of mankind. Liberation from just injustice brought upon us by a new path of glory. And with the guidance of a Fuhrer and the spirit of Aryan Volk. Alright, who typed this up? Where is the umlaut? Where is it? And we broke free uh, from our former chains. Like a phoenix, our flame of rebirth swept away the old Orda, Ordera away. The flame that also sent, also lights a torch that heralded a new glorious era, where all Germans may live free, unshackled, unburdened, under the rule of fear. <sighs> Umlaut. <clears throat> all thanks to the brave, courageous sons of the Fatherland, terrifically won after fighting all Jewish puppets from California to Kathmandu. I know I've already read this before. But may Germany stand tall now, then, and forevermore, except from Alfred Ingerman Burns' speech in Volkshalle. The heroes' memories must live on, for now the people shall celebrate. Cool. Metropolitan terrorist attacks. Ordered by the Swiss resistance, a handful of Swiss German detonated a bomb in their factories. We were unable to capture the bombers, although we have reports of them being Swiss German. They're hard to discover due to their fluency in German and ability to sneak under the radar as a normal German citizen. Ah, uh, all you do is just hurt the businesses of your comrades. China accepts our invitation. Okay, bonded by relationships since the era of the Weimar Germany, the Republic of China has accepted our invitation with its utmost respect. Cheng, Wai, Kuo, and a group of ambassadors will attend to the grand funeral, and will attend several state visit activities to further improve relations between China and Germany. You know, you can't rely on the, Swi the Swedish, you can't rely on the Italians, but you can rely on the Chinese, I guess. Also, uh, apparently Korea, I think, went left, they said. Oh, never mind, they're a military junta. Mass poverty. Left-wing agitation. I don't know, man. I, I, I just play this mod. The Spiel Goebbels block. Shortly after the formation of the Senate, Speer and Goebbels have won a new forming voting block in an attempt to dominate the Senate. Speer and Goebbels also visited and appeared before the public together. This pair of partners seem to have already secured most of the public support in such a short amount of time. Some of the Senate are now begin beginning to feel worried about these developing threats. This is worrying, worrying. So the Senate can actually, I think, come to power. And actually, in the mod files, I did see Palpatine in there as, you know, as the leader of this. So, I don't know how to get to him, but it is what it is. So, Rommel's speech. General Field Marshal Erwin Rommel made an appearance on national television recently as a fox of Ardennes. The German people admired Rommel and are relying on him for relief after the sudden death of the Führer. 
Uh, look, we got umlauts there. The beautiful dot dot. Erwin Rommel gave a grand speech saying, in times like these, the German people must stand together as one. They also stated that if Germany bickered and disagreed on future political actions of the Reich, the nation would crumble. He urged the leadership to find solidarity and a common solution that would bring Germany out of this crisis. For a brief moment, a sense of unity could be felt amongst the German populace. A necessary distraction in such dire times. Thank you, General Field Marshal. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Apparently, I think I already said this earlier, but some of the devs might be watching me go through this campaign, and some people like it that I'm actually reading through all the events and all the focuses. Because, you know, if I don't read the focuses or the events, we really don't get a lot of the story behind this, and it'd be kind of not as cool or entertaining. So, I appreciate uh, everyone's support. We'll put it like that. Pratyakon wins 53. From, news from Fonum Fen. Huh. Socialist has won the Cambodian election. The French Res oh, revolution. Okay. French state is having problems as well. Sounds like they need some strength. Oh, French front? Cabinet crisis. Cool. Depending on Germany's internal issues, intervention might still be a possibility. Okay. Cool. I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. Also, let's see. Since I already told you, I restarted this game. Shh. Bad words. Bad words. The Slavic revolt. No. No. I, I like Muscovine. I like Commissar at Muscovine. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my God. How many states? Oh, my. Oh, the Red Army. The Free Russian Movement, Slavic Revolt, Moscow, Moscow, the Young Russian Commit. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know why, but that flag slightly, at least, reminds me of uh, the land from the the south. I should say, at the very least, the anti-German coalition pact. Oh, that makes sense. Well, that's not cool. Braun wants to make a speech. The wife of the Führer, Eva Braun, has asked the government if she can make a speech in memory of the Führer's tragic death. While major national symbols such as Erwin Rommel are listed as speakers on the schedule, Eva Braun is not planned to appear during the funeral. While some figures have argued that letting Eva Braun speak on behalf of the Führer will destroy the Führer's image in the eyes of Aryan women, some have also advocated that Eva Braun is probably the best remaining symbol of the Führer in his flesh and blood. Whom can serve as an effective speaker to bring Germany together? Um, well, technically, well, technically yes, but practically, you know what? We'll see what she has to say. I don't know. Actually, you know, even though I said, like, this reminds me of Dixie, uh, this is a, very similar to a real flag in Russia that I forget exactly where it's from. Oh, the Association of the Reds. Tachankas. Tachanka. I'm getting Rainbow Six Siege vibes now. Uh, looks like a generic focus tree to a degree. Uh, Mikhail? Tungsten tree with... Oh, you don't want to give me tungsten. Free Russian movement, generic focus tree. The Oblast, Provisional Oblast, Generic Focus Tree, uh, you guys, probably Generic Focus Tree. The Red Army, New, mmm, Quarters, Red Army, Eastern Spring, uh, oh, well, I guess not. Rex Commissariat, Muscovine. Ah, yes, yes, Unique Focus Tree. I didn't really look at it, but, yes. Good luck, guys. Can I, can, can I send volunteers? Please, let me, let's send you. Why can't I send you volunteers? Oh, why can't I help you? So, Bowman's condemnations. Reich's letter Bowman, addressing the Senate during a meeting, spoke about harming elements that are hidden within the Senate and these people are jeopardizing Germany's unity. Obviously, these speeches are directed at Spia and Goebbels' recent actions while both of their pair were present. When Bowman's speech was concluded, half of the room started clapping while both Spia and Goebbels' block sat silently. The facade of unity within the Senate has shattered. Oh, dear. I really wish I could have chosen what the sh him law Hadrich would have won, but I think hopefully Hadrich will win, because since we did choose him over the other person. The grand funeral of Adolf Hitler, for now Hitler's body will remain in Germania. Wir erinnern, which means we remember. Braun speaks for Speer, that's right. Deva Eva Braun's speech in the Führer's funeral. She commented on the current events occurring within the government. Wow, my brain cannot read right there. She voiced her minimal support for Speer, stating that he was a dear friend to the couple. Braun also mentioned that with Hitler's personal relationship with Speer that close, Speer is undoubtedly one of the most trustworthy persons within the Reichs. In the Reich's land. This speech alarmed certain political figures, while Albert Speer has denied any claims that he has plotted this event with Ava Brown. Huh? Oh, look at that political power. Didn't need political power. Oh, don't tell me. Oh. Oh, you're gonna go to war. Oh, yeah. Also, yesterday we saw that it was like the Second Russian Empire. In the first episode, it was like the Union of so Soviet Socialist Republics. The last episode was the Russian Empire. Now we're back to the USSR under Zukov, which is actually kind of cool. Our own secret police, Soviet reclamation. Oh, cool. Uh, I, I have a good feeling that the Caucasus region and Ukraine are going to explode as well. I have a very good feeling that will happen. Grain crisis and the... Sh I had to say something. 
Uh, grain crisis in the Ukraine from strict demands for grain. Reports from the Ukraine have detailed a looming crisis. Germany should pay close attention if any problem arises. Concerning. Also, I did get like 20 political power earlier. Political power. Army XP. In which I did edit one of these divisions. I forget which one. Panzer divisions. Yeah, it was this one. I wanted more modern tanks. Even though organization is such garbage. Even infantry isn't that good. Like, this is not bad. It's pretty normal. 25 is... Oh! Yeah, 20? Like, I just realized that these, all these organization... Not super bueno. Oh my goodness. Mito... Regarium. Uh, why did I have to say that things go to... Broken up, I don't know what to say. Volga bug. Oh, okay, isolated from the Reich. Very cool. Oh, uh, no, not my Rex Commissariat. No. And, oh, shh. Nikes. Well, Civil War in Western Russia. That's a very famous photo. Uh, hopefully this violence ends soon. Well, end of us, Muscovine. It is no more. Oh, no, no. <laughs> One of my favorite Rex Commissariats was Muscovine. Just behind Ostland and Ukraine and Caucasus and Madagascar. Never mind. That's in TNO. Italy breaks the pact. News from Rome has arrived. The pact to seal the former alliance between our two nations, which had been left unrenewed, but never officially cancelled, has officially and unilaterally been annulled by the Italian government. Setting geopolitical re realities, they said that the alliance between our two nations, which has long been de deteriorated de facto, was now in all forms over. Uh, Italy, oh why? Why do you do this to me? I just want to... Oh. Finito, you're still alive. Uh, well... I'm rooting for the Ethiopians then. Ethiopian? Ethiopians. Lions led by donkeys. And an economic failure. Can I send you volunteers? Uh, good. That's good. Oh, the Mountain Republic. Oh, why do you break my heart so much? Calcus in chaos. Oh, crap, not the Ukraine. With Calcus in total chaos, German resources and the direct rural exclaves are being evacuated. Local civil administrations are now in charge of the, charge of the air, attempting to a uh, last stand against the rising revolts. Wish them luck. Um... You know what, I'm going to show you this off-screen just a little bit. The audio might just be a little bit loud from time to time. There would be something like that. If it's... There we go. We'll try that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And the Ukrainian country has collapsed. What a mess. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And I have... Oh, I had all my arm over there, too. Um. Uh... I, I, I'm not really sure where to put these guys. I, I, hmm. I have a good feeling that something's going to come up. Also, if the volume's not loud enough, let me know as well. Sur surprisingly, our suppression tactics in the Ukraine have back backfired. Central leadership in Germany refuses to mobilize the Reich's military to crush the revolt, demanding that Germany let the Reich's Commissariat government handle the uprising on its own. Why would we do that? However, as one of the largest suppliers of food for the Greater German Reich, we sent a grand expedition to assess the Reich's Commissariat government and secure the Great Spy. Who in the right mind? Britain stands victorious in Malaya. Okay, well, for now. Why? Why? The war ended eight years ago. Well, uh, okay, maybe not this, not this timeline, but come on. What about Gautenland? Well, actually, who leads Gautenland? <sighs> cool. The Reichsfuhrer SS and Senate. Based on the seemingly unstoppable power of the Speer Goebbels block, Martin Bormann has approached the Reichsfuhrer Heid. Heinrich Himmler, suggesting that the Schutzstaffel should take a more active role in the Senate matters, a move that could allow Bormann to secure power and keep the Senate officials in line. In exchange, Bormann also promised Himmler a prominent role within the government, and or at least German politics, and a high position within the future Bormann government. How did Himmler respond? Except that the SS should have greater influence. Himmler and Bormann form a secret bloc. Uh, Himmler refuses to offer what the SS keep, well, keeps. I don't want anyone to get too strong against my, my boys of, uh, what the hell is that? Legistan? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't want anyone to hurt my boys. Gobi and Spi. Collapse of the Caucasus. Mein Gott! Oh, so I guess we're probably... Oh, the Reichsmark. Oh, that's that's the Goring's route. Emergency coup. The military's in control. SS. SS security coup, coup sounds like an amazing thing. I'm just saying, you know, that sounds like a lot of fun. The ideal... The him the resistance tree, the Timler tree, Iron Germany, Wehrmacht tree, Bowman Bowman's head. Oh, the real successor. Oh God, Bowman's no. attempted terror attack at Swiss terrorists. Terrorists attempted to damage our factories once again, but failed due to effective and brutal intervention. 
Good work. Crystal purges. That sounds like fun. Oh, wait. Oh. Appease the SS. Appease the Wehrmacht. Ooh, wow. Disarm the SS. Weaken authority. Bowman's Germania. So, Speer Goebbels Block. Unternehmen Valkyrie. Appease Himmler. Order reestablish the new Germany. This sounds like a lot of fun. I, I'm really enjoying this. I love, I love it when the devs just try to make as many things interesting and as fun as different and unique and awesome like this. Rebirth of France. A new France. Hmm. I don't know about that, but we're a little busy with a lot of demilitarized zones. It is 53, so I want to make sure my tanks are nice and sexy. So we'll get some better guns on them. That's right. We got some sexy tanks here. Uh. Yeah, this is a lot of demilitarized stuff. Can I... Can, UN, do you have anything for us? No? Okay. Voting, no. DNA structure discovered. Okay. Well, an intriguing discovery, to say the least. Waiting, no, 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 no. How's the GDP doing? Oh. Oh. That is not good. Third Spanish Republic. We cannot allow such a display of hubris. Apparently, Francisco Franco died, so... Um, cool? Well, not cool. He was actually an okay dude. Okay, they don't even have... A, wow, that is... That is a flag. Goebbels creates the brown shirts. Oh, God. With tensions growing in Germany, Goebbels is still actively making grand speeches to the public. But some notice slight changes in the latest speeches held by Goebbels. Citizens notice a large amount of militia men around the speech location. These men bear resemblance to the Stimmabteilung, members back in the peak during the German Republic's paramilitary chaos. This might be the sign of a restart in public of political violence for Germany. Brown shirts again? I'm just really disappointed by this a little bit. Just, I don't know. Actually, their ideology kind of matches their flag. Kind of. Huh. Republic of Finland demands Estonia. We've received an envoy from Republic of Finland. Our neighbors to the north demand to make it as it seems. They have demanded to, from us to cede Estonia as they see it as a rightful piece of Finnish territory, speaking the same language, sharing familiar or similar traditions and a Nordic identity. If we refuse, they have promised to take action over our refusal to comply. What should we do? Um. It's useless. What? Finland. Finland. You do realize that even though we hate each other here, you still can't beat us up. No. Go to hell, Finland. Spiel Goebbels box storms out. The Senate meeting after Bormann's dealings with Himmler resulted in the Schutzstaffel hold holding greater influence in politics. However, words leaked and Senate officials are now aware. While most held doubt, the presence of a large group of SS armed personnel in the Senate hall confirmed the conspiracy theory. Members of the Spiel Goebbels bloc debated aggressively, saying that Bormann's decisions were illegal and were not approved by the majority of the Senate. During these heated debates, Bowman kept denying accusations time and time again repeatedly, shut down any related discussions. Frustrated by by such barbaric behavior, Goebbels and Speer stormed out of the hall. While they were first stopped by the SS guards, Martin Bormann issued the order to let them pass. Many Senate members followed Speer and Goebbels, leaving the Senate half empty by the end of the day session. Germany's boiling. I didn't need... Uh, th political power, that is not necessary. This just, this just kind of reminds me of Kaiserreich United USA before something happens. And people end up dying. But May Day, I love May Day. Thank you, workers. We owe everything to you. Oh, Albania still exists. A small slice of Europe has been painted red. Hmm. Of course they would go red. Look at their flag. Albanian officers in our army. Wow, we already lost like 20-ish factories. Senate discontented. With Bormann's secret dealings performed behind the Senate's back, discontentment has now growing within the chamber. More of joined the Spiel Goebbels faction are now challenging Mom Bormann. Bormann can do whatever he needs to do. Bowman shall obey. Yes. The Senate. The Reichsmarschall Knox. Oh boy. So the political turmoil in Germany is spiraling out of control. Reichsmarschall Walding has offered a lending hand to the council, requesting to give the council a speech that would unite, or could unite, uh, politicians for the common good of Germania. Should the council open the floors for boring? Close the doors, let him in. Um, I would really could just piss him off. Let's piss him off. Close the doors. This is going to be interesting. National Republic... Uh, hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There... That does not seem like a normal... Is that a normal fascist flag? I don't know. That doesn't seem like it, though. It looks like they have a generic focus tree. Unleash propaganda. I want... To do him. Oh, that's kind of cool. Calling the Senate. The Senate might be at peace for now, but they seem to think that the best solution for Germany now is to hold an internal election for a BU leader as soon as possible. How should Bormann respond? BU. Hmm. That's a new word. Promising an election. Or promise an election. Okay, well, whatever. No, at least let one one of these nations live. Please. Please, we already lost Muscovine. Please. At least Austin still is here. I, Cambodians have a war. 
Oh god, please don't get Pol Pot. Please. Metropolitan terror attacks. Order by the Swiss Resistance. A handful of German Swiss standing to bomb in our factories. Uh, this is basically the same thing. So. As we read earlier. What is this? The West National... Who the hell are you? Excavation 1. Huh. Cool. It is 53 still. And actually, I already did all these decryption, encryption stuff. So. These are all done. It's kind of cool. Hmm. We could do some air doctrine. Naval doctrine, maybe. Land doctrine. We should probably do land doctrine. Combined air, air focus. Uh, I like stuff that is, is not mutually exclusive too much. 10% more breakthroughs is so nice. That's not bad. That's not bad. I probably prefer the land one, though. Recovery rate, tactical destruction, more ground support's not bad. Is this mutually exclusive? It is. Soft attack. That's not bad. Uh, that's okay. Uh, asymmetric warfare. Uh, I forget which one we chose. I think it might have been strategic theorem that we did choose yesterday. Strategic retreat. Large scale warfare. I think it was offensive. Did we go? This? I can't remember. I really can't remember. Army reserve training. Concurrent frontal assaults. This seems like the crazy thing to do. Training. More population, which is nice. Industry. Much faster factory repair speed. And these aren't mutually exclusive, so you do get more population, which is kind of nice. What's the population of our country? 116 million? That's not bad. Mm. As much as I like this one, I'm going to go with this one. Combine, combine arms. Why not? Alright, come on. Let Germany go. Kaboom. And let's see what happens. Eastern trade market. Oh, vote of no confidence with Bormann accepting their demands. Some Senate officials are now calling for a vote of no confidence, demanding a replacement to serve as the upcoming national leader. The election was supposed to come, but Bormann didn't expect it to go this way. This says he will win. 60% chance of Bormann removed. 40% chance of him staying. That's it. Abolish the Senate. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Honestly, I wanted to be up, but I'm not really sure. Bormann believes himself he will win. Oh, man. Can we get counter -cooed? Oh, no. I get political power and stability, though, if I do this one. Now, let's just try this one easy. Borman says, and after an internal election, Borman was able to cling on to his position as Senate President. With his vote, he can now use this as a justification to consolidate his power and become the new leader of Germany. Heil Borman. Paranoid power monger. Borman on top. Um... Emergency Council has been removed. And... Oh boy, something's happening. Is something happening? Yes? Oh, hello, Bormann. Hello. Hmm. I'll be right back. Alright, my friends. So we're back here on May 20th, 1953. In which I have played this just a little bit more off-screen to see what can happen. And I will bring it up as soon as we get back to the elections, which happens right now. So, vote of no confidence. So, with this, we're still going to abolish the Senate to see what happens. Because um, I don't really want Borman here. So, we're going to abolish the Senate. So, we have a little bit of a bug here, my friends, at this, for this video. So, of course, we already read this. Borman has abolished the Senate. Abolish the Senate. But this move might give the opposition a greater excuse to oppose Borman if they need to. However, so with their decisions, decision, since we've already read this, Speer and Goebbels oust Borman. But... If you do this, you don't get either one as leader. What what literally happens is that this stays the entire time. The Senate stays. This is a little bit of a bug, I guess. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But I played this up until like September when I chose this top decision. Speer and Goebbels, Alice Borman. I played this up until September. Nothing happened. No one became leader except the Senate was still there. I was hoping that Speer and Goebbels would eventually rise up. But nothing happened. I don't really want Bowman as a leader, but, you know, I've never played as a Goring Germany, so what we're going to do is Goring shall lead the people because we actually get an event where Goring assumes power. Maybe I'm wrong about this, and, and honestly, this is the reason why I didn't say which direction we that I was going to choose. You guys wanted Speer and Goebbels, which means some other time I'm going to have to play as them, but for now, we can't play as them, which is really disappointing, but let's go with go and Goring, and he shall lead the people, and this is why I chose 
well, maybe not the reason why, but a good reason why I chose Heydrich to play as the leader of Germany in TNL, because I didn't know if things would, like this would happen. So, Goring and Power, through trickery and iron will, Goring has secured the spot as Germany's leader, casting B Molten Ballman outside. The most favored candidate has won the first phase of, power, the of the power struggle, but will Goring be able to maintain his leverage? The Senate retires and become Hermann Goring's Germany, the Reichsmarschall, which is something I really kind of didn't hope for, but I really didn't want Bormann. So, the struggle isn't over yet. At least we have a leader. And at least I don't have to use console commands uh, to go down this way. So Goring's game, after a period of power struggle in Germania, Goring has consolidated his political influence and became the new paramount leader of Germany. The fat man is here. Uh, let's go ahead and read this, and I'll explain a little bit more about the other path. Divide and conquer. Military strategists and political commentators have recommended the division of enemies to destroy them wholesale, since the birth of civilization itself. We will use a ver variation on this hallowed tactic to secure control over Germany, by pitting our political enemies against each other, throwing bones to the weakest and undermining the rest strongest. We will destroy the capability of the army, SS, and bureaucrats to resist us. So, let's come back here. Um, I, like I said earlier, I had to use console commands to do this, and I went with the Speer Goebbels block, and went with either one of these two, it didn't really matter. Uh, order reestablished, but with, and a new Germany. But the thing you see here, it says Goebbels or Speer is the current leader. Even when you get to the Speer Goebbels tree, the Senate was still leading the country, which I couldn't do any focuses after that. There was literally nothing that we could do, um, at least for this campaign, in which I could have chosen Speer or Goebbels. Because you get either one really to choose which one you want to lead. It's really unfortunate. I wish it wasn't like this way. I wish I could have chosen either one. But that just means another two campaigns in the future, right? Once it gets uh, debugged, I guess you could say. Regardless, we have lost the Ukraine, but that is quite disappointing in my mind. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. But, you know what? That is... It still makes for a fun mod, because I don't know anything about... I don't know that much about Golring. And especially his path here. So let's go ahead and grab these post-war suspension improvements for our main battle tanks. Which would be nice, and... Yeah, I saw a division strap down here, which really sucks. Oh, large-scale engines. Very cool, very cool. Aerial refueling. I don't think we're really going to need it that much, though. Uh, actually, let's grab some better carrier fighters. That actually would be a really good thing to do. That actually would be a really good thing to do. Uh, let's, can we save on this? Yes, we can. I'm going to select all of you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry. I would love to keep you. But alas, I am not allowed because supply is too bad around here. Uh... Actually, how much supply do these guys use? Anti-tank is nice. Supply, 0.67. These tanks, I really wish I did not send them over here. 0.67. One point. I don't want to do that. But it looks like I have to. It is unfortunate. We could still end up having a civil war, and I think I said this like three times already. We're just going to go with strategic theorem. Hmm. Nah, I'll go grand operations. It doesn't really matter. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry about this. It just... This is throwing me off so much. I spent like 20 minutes off-screen looking at this, so... Uh, dividing and conquering. The Spiel's Goebel block is dangerous to Hermann Goring's leadership, and those two must be stopped at all costs. Goebbels had a decent relationship with Hermann Goring, which means his tactic of dividing might be best suited to destroy this contender. By offering Goebbels an esteemed position within the government, the trust between Spiel and Goebbels could be broken, rendering the block powerless without joint leadership. Or, Goring can choose to send core members of the block to remote, or to remote diplomatic missions, effectively eliminating Spiel and Goebbels' support to base. Um, uh, hmm. Looks like Goebbels, maybe. Crack their power base. Invite Goebbels. Uh, you know, let's invite Goebbels. Why not? Let's be nice to him. Let's see what happens. I'm so glad I do not have to use, have to use console commands for this, but Himmler's Playground. The first step of our division tactic will be to grant the SS a poisoned chalice, basing rights and sovereign jurisdiction over all of the SS Oldenstadt Burgund. Himmler will have at last have what he has always dreamed of, a base from which to play his little political games and his own sheep pen of human beings to be his puppets. The trick, of course, will be to expediently, expediently deport the rest of the SS there as fast as possible and lock them in, never to return. Oh, either way, we're going to get Strengeheim. Uncertain times. Quite uncertain. Yeah, it's it was really uncertain, which, like, all the decisions leading up to this power struggle have been very, honestly, a little confusing. I'm not really sure how everything would have worked out, especially since the, the reform path with Speer and Goebbels was it's a little bugged, which is kind of sadness, but whatever. At least we get an infantry division out of this, despite us killing off a lot of other stuff. Oh, Khmer Republic has capitulated. We'll put you into Blaskovitz. Uh, Ukrainians have war. Ukraine's golden fields still burn. Oh, that breaks my heart. 
Another attempt at a terrorist attack. Good work, but it has been foiled, which is always a good thing to see. Himmler's playground, my friends. So, dealing with Himmler. Himmler, or the Resistance, is a significant figure in the power struggle, and the safest way to secure control is to gain his support. This might be achieved if we were to choose to grant a large chunk of land for Himmler and his mad cultish SS to become the private playground in exchange for political support. While most would accept such a fair deal, Himmler is, not, is most certainly an unpredictable person. Grant him Burgundy. We have a literal 80% chance for him to get to Burgundy, or 20% to do something else. Himmler and Burgundy, seeing the massive benefits, Himmler gladly accepted his new personal fiefdom in exchange for staying out of the power struggles in Germania. While this might be considered a small delay by some, or small deal, Himmler has also transferred Germany's Waffen SS units to Burgundy's personal domain. A price for peace and stability, was this worth it? Enjoy, Madman? Add technology Waffen SS. Or for Burgundy. Um, what is the difference? It becomes a puppet. They both become puppets here. Uh, they're exactly the same. Enjoy, Madman. Sure, go right ahead. Even in TWR, he still exists. Bowman's head. The next logical opponent of our reforms will be the head of the status quo, Martin Bowman himself. Having targeted him along with several other prominent critics of our policies, we will begin plans to arrest him and his senior supporters in the Reichstag. The trial will be as fair as we can make it and relatively quick to boot. After all, there are plenty of crimes Bowman has complicit have been complicit in, and quality, quantity has a quality of all its own. Afterwards, of course, there is a matter of a disposal. Get rid of Martin Bowman and his protégés. Um, I could, this could be a lot worse. They, they took out southern Belgium, basically. We kept Luxembourg. They have French Comte. We have Alsace Lorraine still. Uh, Nazi colonial repression. Wow. New arms age. Oh, and he's a generic focus tree, which is okay. Formation of Burgundy. An interesting concept. Oh, wow. I wish these all had Strangeheim here. I, I That would be super cool if they did. That's okay. That is... Oh. Special flag too, I guess too. That's that's a lot of manpower. Wow, holy, holy cow! Fanatical dictatorship, of course, but that is a lot of manpower for such a small area. Wow, early auto loaders, cool. Infantry fighting goes. I don't really want to use. I would like to use APCs. So post-war suspension improvements as well for APCs. Very good. Very very good. Hopefully nothing bad happens here, especially as we're training. Uh, you guys are actually doing okay, so I'm going to leave you guys alone for now. We're going to have a lot of infantry for a potential conflict, we'll say. Alright then, his head. And we shall do the real successor. The army is silent and the true believers, as they call themselves, cowed. There can be no question as to whom or the late Fuhrer's real successor was. No one will ever be allowed to question this. Thankfully, now that the mandate that was stolen from us is now in our rightful hands, we are free to enact the policies that will truly benefit Germany. The world may tremble as it wishes. Germany is reinventing itself stronger, better, and more powerful than ever has before. In which we get our own tree. Hopefully no one tries to upstart us and destroy us. And hopefully Himmler has his own little troubles with the French Republic. But then again, we are talking about Himmler and the resistance, and he might go crazy. Turingen, huh? Unfortunate. Restore civilian rule. That's actually really cool. The death of Hitler. Huh. I'll probably, probably play the French at least once in this mod as well. It looks really, really, really interesting. Okay, so we got rid of Bowman. Like, do we have any events about that? Oh, grand ambitions. Fighting the ooh addiction. Man of the people is willing to fight the addiction. Lose political power. The fight fails. Addiction free. Ah, uh, Golings Reich. No real successor. Now everything's locked. Gross Deutsches Kriegsmarine. Gross Deutsche Luftwaffe. And here, we have economic policies. But we have to go back in control, reunite the Reich's commissariats, people's will. Uh, we can use that stability. And Hitler's Reich. Ooh, dictator. Man of culture. I want to do this one. I like political power. So, though Goring and Hitler had many differences, the German people loved Hitler. Any condemnation at this point would tank our popularity. Paying lip service to the former Lipfuhrer is a fire, surefire way to win the favor of all but the most revolutionary of reformists. <clears throat> How many times must I say this? Where is the Umlaut to represent the Fuhrer? Overseas testimony... Yeah, we gotta fight the addiction here. The fat man. He's quite chunky. So we have us, ourselves. Cool. Return of Brazilian stability. Cool. Crisis averted. Cool. Post war suspension limits. It is still 53. This, is, this has been a topsy turvy time for me, man. Rudimentary composite ceramics. Cool. We get more hardness, more armor. Very nice. Uh, do we have anything else around here? Plenty of guns, infantry equipment. We want mechanized. We want... Actually, do we want mechanized? No, we want APCs. We're making just a little bit of mechanized. We want APCs. 
main battle tanks. That's what we want. That's exactly what we're trying to make here. Uh, as much as I like these, I don't want to get distracted by that. So, there you go. Good. Um, where are naval bombers? Maybe this mod doesn't have naval bombers, so we have to use close air support. That might be true. That might be right, actually. I don't see any naval bombers here. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, well, no, okay. Uh, let's see, APCs, tanks. I'm making light tanks. Hopefully we can put some other stuff on there. Uh, we don't need you anymore. Main battle tanks. Medium tanks. we got to get rid of those eventually. Uh, let's go down to five, then. That'd be fine. That's a little better for tanks. A little bit better. We need more resources. Palestine has capitulated on certain times. So okay, then. Well, it looks like the greater... There's a liberal victory in Canada. But, you know what? At least we have a tree that we can have a good time with. And the greater Syrian state. That is an interesting flag by the SSNP. Oh, man. For a second... Oh, wait. Do they have a unique focus tree? They, they really don't. A lot of this is just kind of generic. But they do have their own little thing over here, which is actually kind of interesting. Pan-Syrianism. Anti-imperialist crusade. Consolidate greater Syria. Handling the resistance. This seems all very, very interesting. Imperial state of Iran... Albania, I really... You know what? The next decision we're going to make is for me to get rid of some of these states. We can't. I can't deal with this. To reunify Germany, we're going to take out the Rex Comis the former lands of what were known as the Rex Commissariat. But getting more political power is always a good thing to do. Even though it does take 56 days, which is a long, long time. Especially after we have like 14 days. Yeah, we've got a huge Kriegsmarine, but I wouldn't say it's oversized, man. I wouldn't say that's oversized. 52... Support companies. Let's get some flamethrowers. Like I said, I think before, flamethrowers would be nice. Flamen Vefa. We're still trying to build up roads. Can I Can I even build up military or civilian factories yet? No, I can't. So there's no point even doing that. So it is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. I really would like to see Burgundy do really well. And you know, it's nice. It's, ha it's nice having Burgundy here. They're a little buffer against the French state, or should I say, really the French uh, Republic. Actually, what is, what's the UK doing right now? A defended isle. And Rab Butler. God, there's so many terrorists. A dead isle. Uh, we'll maybe we'll play the UK someday as well. They have a big old tree, it looks like, which looks really interesting. Our destiny. Post colonial foreign policy. Well, and how's the GDP looking? Well, it's not great. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do this one. And I do want to kick his addiction eventually. Empowering honor. Crushing it. Please don't tempt me with more of this, please. Revisit Operation Reinhardt. Back in control. So, perhaps it is then time to take the hands-off approach to planning the economy. Instead of bureaucrats within uh, the economics ministry slaving over a desk trying to determine which goes where, we can leave it to those who are less easily stumped and can see the writing on the wall much clearer. Of course, such men are the heads of the various conglomerates that dominate the private sector of our economy. These men have had years of experience. Each of them sees what makes the economy tick, what makes it improve, decline, or fail. It is preposterous that we do not have more of these men in economic positions within our government. A room full of these businessmen can achieve an entire decade's worth of bureaucrats' efforts in a single afternoon. Bring me the contact list. I have a few meetings to arrange. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, oh see, we even lost divisions here. See? Some of the SS divisions left us, which is fine. Bunker coup in Spain. Bunker coup? Huh. Shocking. Oh, Portugal's there, too. Portuguese Republic. Uh, yeah, that's really disappointing that we couldn't do anything about this. That's really disappointing. Uh, I can't believe we got my guys trapped here, too. That really sucks. We're still getting more naval XP, which is nice. We can spend a little bit more army XP, and we'll end the episode soon. I want to get through at least one more focus to see what happens. Um, let's go ahead and stop using up all of this. Go ahead, everyone. Go back home. Enjoy yourselves. We got two heavy cruisers. Nice. The Spi and the Blue Chef. Cool. Even though we need more screens. Why am I making... Hold on. Oh, we can have this too. Nice. I like that. Uh, don't do that yet. If we need to do this, do it like at least one more. Uh, technically, I edited these cruisers. They're not supposed to be. They... Yeah, they say CA. They say they're heavy cruisers. I took off the heavy part of the cruisers and made them light cruisers. I hope that works. I really hope that works. It might, it might not. Uh, let's let time go on slowly as I uh, do Metropolitan Attacks in Danzig, whatever. I don't know, man. This is, this is getting wonky, to be honest with you. Very wonky. 
Uh, let's get some recon too. That'd be fine. Recon company too. Nice stuff. And now we can do. Oh, we got that too. Great for carrier stuff. Drop tanks. We can wait. Heavy aircraft. Uh, tactical bombers. We might as well research that one. I think we might have already done that, but I don't know. Hi. I, I play this at by this point three times now, and I still want to play it. Just three times. My third time doing this. I I, I I don't even know. It's it's one of my attempts here. One of my attempts. Uh, let's get some armor as well. That'd be nice. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. There we go. At least we can maybe make a carrier. And, and a decent one at that. That'd be good. Let's see. Who... Oh, army consumption. Oh, it's probably because of all this armor I'm trying to train. Which they should be getting done soon-ish. Hopefully back in control. So we got about 23 days left. Uh, Nazis reformed. SS infighting. Hold on. Infighting? Yeah, I mean... But we gave Himmler... Burgund, Burgund, and Hadrish has Gotenland. Uh, is that should that still be here? Maybe, maybe not. But we already got rid of the divisions that were here already. Stagnation makes sense. Nazi recruitment system still makes sense. Memorial Day of the Movement, 1923, the forefathers of the National Socialist March of the Streets of Munich. I think I've already read this before. So remember the beer hall. Thumbs up. That definitely helps out our lots of not political power. Hmm. <laughs> More terrorist attacks. Oh my goodness. Now we're back in control. And now we get decisions to do stuff. Oh my god. We need so much oh, political power. Oh no. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to go with Prussian traditions just because we get more daily political power. Eternal Reich's Commandant. That would actually be pretty good to do right now. Unlocks the military tree. That's cool. Symbols of greatness. Man of the people. National socialism with gore and characteristics. Oh god. Okay, I thought it said 10, but it says 150 political power. That's not bad. New, new age of progress. Goebbels advice. I kind of like that. We get we get him as a national spirit, which isn't bad. Let's go and do Prussian traditions. Twice we have reunited Germany in a century. Though we have maintained the Reich well enough, we must take lessons from our ancestors. In knowledge there is power, and in history, knowledge. We must study into what has led us to victory in the past. Additionally, the return to Prussian military culture would suit us quite well, as opposed to the decentralization that Wehrmacht has faced in the last decades. But, regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did... Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and uh, let me know your thoughts on the campaign so far, despite me restarting it twice, and, well, uh, what do you think could happen in the future? Regardless, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow as we shall research Infantry Anti-Take 3. Hope you all have a great rest of your day!